Young Christian. See ya. And we're back again for another episode of Two of Twos. We in the building again. You know, episode the second. Episode 45. Yes, you're right. Episode <laughs> 45. Back in the building. Second episode of the week. I want us to get to this point where we're doing like two a week. Yeah. Yeah, back to that point. But yeah, how you doing? Man, doing good, man. You see how it's looking outside, though? I was looking outside. It's looking like a nigga got shades on. It's a little dark. I like I like the vibes. I like the vibes too. It's like sixty degrees outside. I like. Yeah, that. I like that too. Yeah. I love the fall. It's, it's I hate that summer shit. This is like wonderful for me. Summer shit is only like fire because like women wear less. But other than that, it'd be too damn hot. That, that's a that's a W out of it. But that's the only W. That's the only W. That's the only man, w. that nigga hates sweating. Bro, I hate sweating, especially like when I'm smoking. I hate sweating. Man, just being outside, like even just a walk to the car, your whole shower you just took is <laughs> ruined. <laughs> ruined, yes. <laughs> yes. It gets crazy in Texas, man. Niggas don't understand. Yeah, so we uh we had some guests in here last episode. Right, right. Um, I think when we have four guests, it's like impossible to get to the topics. We might as well just throw the topic sheet out the window when we have, <laughs> you know, four people in here. Yeah, for real. Um, get off on a lot of debates. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to cover all those topics that we had planned to talk about last time, and we'll just, we'll, if we did talk about it, we'll go a little bit deeper this time, right. and then we'll just try to get to everything. So I, I want to start with Drake's album. What did you think about the album? <clears throat> so Drake album, um, I went 15 out of 23. I liked the album. Uh, I, I had a lot of skips, so that just kind of made me like, uh but overall, the songs that I that I do like out of the album, I really fuck with. I got a lot of favorites. Um, that uh, what's it with the one? What's the one with Chief Keith? The party shit. All I like the that one. The J Cole first person shooter hard. Uh, Drew Picasso Bahamas promises. Uh, away from home, like it's a lot of shit on that hoe. I'm really got on repeat right now, but um. Yeah, I, 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 if you ask me to just compare it to like recent projects, like yeah, better than Honestly Nevermind. I'm rocking with CLB more. I'm not gonna lie. Well, you said this is better than Honestly Nevermind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I <laughs> really? I don't know. The dance I know, I album. That's... Oh, oh, I'm thinking of her loss. My fault. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my fault. I'm thinking yeah. about her loss. You, you got it. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. You're certainly right. It's shitting on honestly. Never right, mind. right. Her loss. Nah, I don't. I don't. I'm not going. I'm not going with that. I'm not going. With yeah, that. I was thinking about her loss. That's not my yet. Fault. Not yet. You know. Um, I don't know. They might be a little close. CLB. No. No for CLB, but it feels like a CLB part two for me. It does sound a lot like CLB. A lot yeah. of new sounds. That's kind of you know. He's kind of testing with. I see a lot of people don't like it on Twitter, and Joe Budden did seem to like it. Well, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but what, what what you think about the album, though? I liked it. I, I what I don't understand is how you can like Cob and like her uh, her loss and not like this. I just I can't fathom that. It's like liking blue and liking green, but you don't like teal. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't understand. Like it really is. It's all the same. It's all the, around the same color, the same shade. It makes no fucking sense to me. Same people who was talking about her loss was a classic or whatever, saying this is ass. I don't get it. I really, I really don't get it. On the flip side, I can't say I added many more songs than you. I think I added two less than you. I added thirteen out of uh, okay. twenty-three. Yeah, um, and 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 like yeah. So like, the, I agree. Like, I think I like the album, you know, but. I think the songs that I didn't like, I just thought them hard. Like, I just didn't know what bro was doing on them hoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Like, I mean, I, maybe other people will like this song, but I just don't get why you would mix the, the genres or the sounds of Sexy Red and Scissor. Like, it just sounds crazy to mix that those two together. That shit was hard. I, gotta lie, I like that song. You like that song? I like that song. It was, it was Did you add that song? Bomb. I added that song. I, I did not add that song. The songs that I didn't add was like, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't just like, some of the crooning was just too much, like the Slime You Out, I couldn't, it was just too much. I can't ask Slime You Out. The, um, the Tried Our Best, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get into that. Uh, the Bad Bunny shit, I, I did not I the wasn't into shit. that. The DJ Screw shit, it's like, bro, you didn't even hop on that hoe. <laughs> Had to, I added it, but then I deleted that. Um, I didn't like the intro, I wasn't a fan. didn't like nothing. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> it was a couple more songs. I, I don't know, but I mean, other than that, it was fire, you know. But 
Uh, like a campfire. Like it wasn't like a house fire. It was fire like a forest fire. It was like a campfire. Like, I would say like um, like a fire, like a fire at school, like a you know. No, nah, it was like a campfire. Like like you stand around the campfire. It's it a little fire. more than a campfire. <laughs> it, was, it was like maybe like uh like you know when Kane comes to the ring. <laughs> the pyro. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was like it was that. like that yeah, kind I of fire. That. It okay, was like yeah. that kind of fire. Like. I've been there in person to see that shit. It's pretty hot now. Yeah. But you know, you know. And I know that bitch flies up to the air too. Yeah, yeah. It goes yeah. up high. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I, I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't want to sit here and be one of those Drake fans and that's like, oh, yeah, it's all great. It's the best thing he ever dropped or, or act like it's on par with some of his best shit. I don't want to do that. No. But then I also don't want to be the Drake fan that's like, you see that like bitch on the Breakfast Club talking about some. Yeah, I used to be an Aubrey's angel, but like <laughs> we just grown apart or whatever. Like Drake fucking knows her. I don't want to come on here and do that shit either. I feel like the project probably does need time to breathe. Right. It probably does need time to breathe, but I don't know, bro. I mean, what I feel like I is, know. bro, like people just over exaggerating. Like if you listen to it, if if you honestly listen to every song on there, it's a it's some old Drake, it's some CLB Drake, it's some. Yo, Drake, I, didn't, I didn't hear old Drake at all. I say if you if you listen to Away From Home, that kind of gives you a little... It kind of gave me, like, if you're reading this too late kind of vibes. Just a little bit. The oldest era of Drake that I heard on this motherfucker was Darkwing Demos. That was, like, the earliest I could what be like. What song was that? I don't know which song, but I'm saying, like, just the vibe and, like, hearing it. I'm like, okay, I could hear some Darkwing Demos. I don't know which song it was exactly, but... I'm like, okay, I can feel that, but like that was like the earliest version of Drake I can go to. I ain't gonna lie, the, the new Drake, I'm fucking with it. Then. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to think out. Hey, man, nigga was spazzing, bro. Nigga was spazzing, bro. Man, he that was nigga was spazzing. He said, he was a creamy as a doorstop. Yeah. Shitty on J. Cole on that hoe. Yeah, I don't know what people were talking about with that. Like, everybody's saying that. That J. Cole, not J. Cole, everybody's saying Drake didn't show up, J. Cole wrapped him up and all that. I don't know about that one. J. Cole did his thing. J. Cole J. did Cole's his fast. thing. But the shit that Drake was talking, bro, J. Cole, he can't even, like, if, okay, if J. Cole, let's say if Drake and J. Cole traded verses, right? All the shit J. Cole was saying, if, if Drake said it, it would be facts. But if J. Cole was trying to say Drake, what Drake said, they'd be like, what? What are for Michael? Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are words you got? They, you know what I'm saying? Like, respect. I, I fuck with Cole, but like, they'd be like, what? Grammy? They'd be like, what? Bitches, nigga, you married. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill out. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but oh, I'm geez. just saying, like, bro, Drake, Drake wrote that hoe. But I mean, Cole had a, he was hard too, you know. Kathleen. Like, I ain't gonna say he just watched him, but I think Drake had a better. Jardine, Claudine. Christine. Christine, bro. He was he was rolling that shit. Yeah, man. Man, I packed these hoes in my phone like some sardines. No, nah, he was going crazy. It when I first heard it on first listen, I did think J. Cole won. But when you listen to it some more and some more, it's like, wait, Drake is spazzing right now. Yeah, I would have liked to hear J. Cole on that second beat. Nah, I think he did all right. Think you don't think he was, you think think he was in it? it? I think he was on the first beat for a reason. That was more of his uh his Ooh, lane. Type beat. Nah, that was more of his lane. <laughs> my favorite songs on there is the song with uh Lil Yachty and What Will Pluto Do. Those are my two favorite I songs. I like What Will Pluto Do, that's fine. I like that and Amy Charlotte too. Yeah. Um Maybe Seven I'm... Nine Six Nine. Do you fuck with that? What? The Seven Nine Six Nine Santa. I don't think so. Uh what about the one with Yeet? Yes, I love the song with Yeet. I think Yeet watched him, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what bro was talking about. To me, it just feel like he gave him a song. I say with him on like a tie. I say with him on like a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what you talking about, man? Hey, but he wasn't trash on there. Man, you know? But he, he just, he laid, like you say, yeah, he laid, like he, he just thing. gave him a song. I feel like he just gave him a song. Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to put something on it, I guess. Yeah. And hey, we, I mean, we'll know, we'll know in a couple of days, but. It's, comp- it's competing with uh, the, the J. Cole song for number one on the Billboard. I'm rooting for the Yeet song to get to number one. I am too. I mean, I'm cool with either one, but well, I, want, cool. I want to see Yeet go number one. I ain't going to cap. I'm cool with either one, but I'm only rooting for the Yeet song because I want these old niggas to see that maybe they're wrong. <laughs> He's wrong about what? About saying that Drake needs to stop making songs with fucking 25-year-olds. Or stop making songs that appease nah. to 25-year-olds. Yeah, nah, I agree. Maybe they're wrong. I mean, ask they're somebody wrong. who turns 25 in a couple months. They're wrong. Yeah, I agree. They're wrong. 
I like that. So, uh, hey, it's for me, nigga. So. I mean, nobody says shit when Kanye does it. Like, Kanye does the same shit. Nobody said, nobody. Yeah, bro, Donda had, like, 50 features on there. Like, Yeah, dirt. yeah. But, like, you think, like, he's, he's making music for 25-year-olds? Like, you think he's Leonardo DiCaprio uh, music? But, I mean, do you think Drake's really doing that? Yeah. I mean, like, listen to what he's saying. Bro, if you put Eat on your song and Sexy Red on your song, y- yeah. Yes, I do think so. I don't put it past Kanye to do that either, though, because he had Playboy Cardi on his album. True. He's working with Uzi. He's working with YNW Melly. He's working with Chief Key. Like, he's working with all the same people. So it's like, True. nobody says shit when Kanye does it, but when Drake does it, he's... And Kanye's away. Well, he's got to be like five to ten years older than Drake. Nobody says anything. It's all inspirational and, oh, look at his show. Look at his concert. Well, just look at how people... Kanye. People, look at how people treat Drake compared to any other artist. Drake makes a song with Yeet, and now there's like a bunch of like people spending 14 hours making animations, making Drake look like some type of queer. I think I can say that. <laughs> making Drake look like some type of queer inside these little animations that they're doing with the, I'm counting the money for fun, that shit. Yeah, like like nobody does that for any other artist. They did that for for the twenty one. Can you do some for me? The rich flex. They only do that for Drake. They want Drake to look like some type of queer. They won't do that for any other. But artist. I mean, they've been they've been doing that his whole career though. Calling him soft and light skin. Yeah, it's calling him soft and all that. But nobody's spending fourteen hours making a fucking animation like they've been doing now. They don't do that for any other art. Why not? Okay, you don't even gotta make all the other artists look queer. But why don't you get a, a little Dirk song and make them look like a gangster? Why don't you get him like spinning through the blocks or whatever? They only do this. But I'm gonna tell you why. He the biggest artist. I just think it's lame. It's not. Is he the biggest artist though? So you know, he's behind the most haters too. Yeah, but like spending 14 hours to make an animation just to make me look like a queer or some shit, just to make me look some type of way, just is weird. It's really weird, and it's like so many different variations of him, plus the rich flex stuff. Like they don't do that for any other artist. Any other artist. I don't get it. But, speaking Nigga, of... Do you, what? Do you see how they be doing DDG? No, they cook him, but they don't make, like, animations of him but singing I mean, his songs. Nigga, like, they be you know how long this nigga Spotify, like, putting doo-doo round on his shit, like, do, or what, what, they putting doo-doo, doo-doo noise garbage, on his, doo-doo, like, doo-doo, editing his nigga's sounds. music, like, no, I feel like that's like, worse. Nah, nah, the Drake thing's worse. The Drake thing's worse. Oh, no, man. The Drake thing's way worse. Why do you think that's worse? Bro, y'all niggas editing my music now? Like, what are we doing? I'm supposed to be the only nigga that can do some shit like that. Like, y'all niggas fucking my streams up. Y'all, y'all fucking my song up, bro. Like, y'all hate me this much? Like, what are we doing? This shit's crazy, bro. No, they do was, they was putting fart noises all over his shit. <laughs> like, what are we doing? All right, let's uh, talk about Joe Budden, wherever it is. Um, I got to scroll up. Do you know exactly what Joe Budden said? Uh, we can play the video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a fourteen minute clip. I'm not gonna listen to fourteen minutes. Here we go. So before we get to what Drake <laughs> said in reply, what, what do you think about that? Uh, I mean, I be hearing a lot of people like ask for that, but and then we ask, and then we ask Jay Z for. I mean, I don't ask like me personally. I don't care what a rapper rap about. I just want good music. Like I feel like these niggas asking for a lot. Like yeah. It is kind of get in the studio and do that shit yourself. Rap about your adult life, nigga. 
Yeah, I feel like it would kind of be weird if, like, somebody watched my podcast and hit me up and told me what I should be talking about. <laughs> right. Like, what my subject matter should be. Like, right. it's okay to give a suggestion, but you're not going to tell me what to talk about. So. Yeah, bro, like... Bro, let that man rap about it's his raps. Like, let him rap about what he want to rap. You, Joe should know that, bro. He's a rapper. Like, I don't know. I, I think. I mean, I I get what he. I get that point of view though. Like, they want like they think he's trying to fit in with the younger people. They want him to mature. They want his music to mature, his lyrics to mature. But it's like, bro, Future doing the same shit, and he just had a, a great year last year. Like, why do we give a fuck so much about that shit? Like, why do we want niggas to be old niggas so bad? Like. How far do they if want his li- music to mature? Like, I, I feel like his music's going... I do agree with Joe in this sense. Drake's music is going the opposite way. Like, it's it's becoming more immature. Because when he was in his 20s, he had very deep songs about family, his mom, his dad, right. women, his past relationships, failed relationships, right. situationships, too. Uh, friends and how fan, fan, fandom... Not fandom, how fame changes friends and shit like that. He had a lot of deep messaging uh in his music early on and now it just seems pretty fun so it's like fun turn up music which is not i don't think there's anything wrong with that but i do kind of see what joe is saying in that that point yeah but i mean i mean I, I i mean it's not like he's not still if you listen to the songs it's not like he's not still talking about his life like it's just not as deep as back in the day you know yes. but he still does talk about like his son and his his mom My thing is, like he still raps about certain things it's just not in the same way as back then, of course, you know. My thing is, if you want to hear him rap about some deep shit, go listen to the old shit, bro. Like, yeah. the old shit is still available. Yeah. Nigga has, like, 13 <laughs> projects. When Hov say, niggas want my old shit, buy my old album. Go buy the old album, bro. <laughs> go listen to the old shit, fam. I just feel like nobody says this to nobody else. Like, nobody That's tells what I be future. talking about! Nobody tells Future, oh... You need to rap like you're you're younger. We want to hear about adult future. Like nobody future's says older than Drake. To, nobody says this to Yay when this nigga rapping about you such assholes. a freaking hoe. <laughs> I love it. Like bro, nobody saying this to nobody else. So it's like I don't know, bro. It's weird, right? I mean, even it's Jay selective. Cole. It's selective hate, and I don't like selective hate. If you're gonna hate me, so you hate me for wearing the color yellow. Well, next time somebody else wear the color yellow, you better treat them the same way. <laughs> That like bro, yeah. don't it's selective hate. It's like like uh like okay, so we did in my group chat we talked about the album and how much we added. I said 13, 13 out of twelve. I mean thirteen out of twenty three. And they gave they asked me to grade it. I graded a B. They, somebody was like a B for thirteen out of out of twenty three, that's dick eating. But last year when I reviewed um when I reviewed Future's album and I added, what, 12 out of what? What was it, 22? 12 out of 22? It wasn't dick eating then. It was, it was oh, okay. And I said it was album of the year. I wasn't a dick eater then. But now when it's Drake, I'm a dick eater. That, that's just how people are when it comes to Drake. And yeah. it's so weird. The biggest artist, man. Crazy. I don't think that should make a difference. I really don't think that should make a difference. It shouldn't, but, you know, we got, like, ever since day one, it's always been a lot of haters. You know? It's just weird. And, and, and then you can say, yeah, it's a lot of haters, but every time he drops, it goes number one. A lot of fans, too. With, with a lot of haters. I think the haters are the fans. I think the haters are the fans. I think some of them are mixed together. I think people are are Definitely mixed together. tuning in just to hate. Like, like when I go to experience something, a new album, I'm going to go with no bias at all. I try not to go with any bias at all, one way or the other. I feel like they walk in with hate. Nigga, if I don't like an artist, I'm not even finna listen to their album. Like, I'm not finna waste my time. You know you looked at me crazy when I said that in the early days of, like, us doing podcasts together. No, I said that about, like, Young Boy or something. You looked at me like I was crazy. No, I what I said was, I'm not, like, I'm not, if I ain't heard somebody's album, I'm not finna just give a take like I heard that. That's always my thing. Like, if I'm a shit on something, it's gonna be something that I heard. But, nigga, if I don't like somebody, nigga, I'm not finna go out my way to listen to their music. Like, I'm... <laughs> Cool, like, push your T, drop some new shit, cool, like, <laughs> nigga, I'm not finna go out my way to listen to it just to shit on it, like, nigga, I don't look, I don't like his music, so it's like, the Drake fans, or the Drake haters, I don't yeah. understand, like, every album, y'all, oh, mediocre for the last eight albums, for the last five albums, but it's like, nigga, you listen every time, like, if you get disappointed every time, at some point, you gotta give up. That mediocre shit is funny, though, because, like, there's no way you think 
Future's album's better than her loss, right? Like, you just can't think that. Future's last album? Yes. And I like Future's last album, but just, like, I mean, how's it better than her loss? I liked it, too. I mean, I, I like her loss more, but... Yeah, I, well, so, I don't get it. I like Future's album, though. I do, too. I like Future's album, but, like, I don't, I don't think it's better than her loss. So, how could the last... How could the last five Drake albums be mediocre, but Future's last album is a classic? I've, I've seen people say he hasn't rapped about... He hasn't done a good project But what do y'all views. want this nigga to rap about? And views ain't that great. What the fuck do y'all want this nigga to rap about? Uh, He's not married. What do y'all want him to rap about? He raps I mean, about his son. The, the, he's the hottest rapper. He's been the hottest rapper for the last 15 years. The shit he rapping about, it's not like he's trying to sound young. That's his life. Bitches. Money. Like, that's that's his life, bro. Like, Yeah, so Joe, I, Joe Budden, I think Drake is just living a 25-year-old lifestyle at 37. And I think he still has more substance than, like, majority of the game. Maybe not, like... Kendrick or Cole, he's not going as deep like how he used to be back in the day, like you said, like how Cole and Kendrick kind of still do. But mo- majority of these rappers are not talking about anything at all. At least he's mixing it where he's, you know, it's fun music, but it's still, he's still rapping about something too. Like majority of these rappers are still not even doing that now. Like he's just adapting with the game. He's mixing it in. He's, you know, he's adapting with times, bro. Yeah, I seen a tweet that was like back in the day. People used to clown Jay Z for not, you know, getting with the times and being up on the times and being aware. And now when Drake does that, he's he's just as corny as Jay Z was for not doing it. So it, it is kind of weird. But to speak on Joe Budden, I think it was kind of out of pocket to say the twenty five year old thing. Like he could said, "Stop hanging around twenty five year olds." Okay, that's cool. But stop smashing twenty five year olds. That sounds crazy. He said on the song though. He said he was smashing twenty five year olds. On that one song, he said, blame this shit on being 25. Somebody, he's talking about a chick. That's why Joe said it. <laughs> Bro, because he sent me the clip. I was dying. They had played the song. <laughs> just... That 14-minute clip? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They had played the song. He was yeah. like, nigga, you said it. And then he, he went to another Drake song. Drake did get mad at him. He went that. to another song where he said 21. So he was like, nigga, I really gave you grace. Yeah, four years grace, nigga. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I didn't even know that. Like, when I was, when, because at first, I, I had that same take. I was like, damn, Joe. Like, damn, why you saying that, bro? Like, you, that's kind of personal, but it's like, nigga, you said it on the album, bro. Like He did. <laughs> it's like, he did. It's like, bro, we, we listened to the lyrics, so. All right, well, let me read what. Uh, I kind of got Joe more after that. Let me read what Drake said in reply to Joe Budden. He said, add Joe Budden. You have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing now in this clip. Because that's what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember, you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter. A quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the, the things, well, I'm pretty sure he meant things, that pop up into your brain <laughs> had, <laughs> had you broke living check to check. He didn't spell check right, so it almost fucked me up. And the rap she write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty, dusty jeans to screw up their face to mute music. Mood music. Whatever. The, what is mute music? That was one of, that's like his mixtape series title, Joe Budden. Okay, mute music 29. And pretend that you're the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel like is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset. After the fact, this guy is the poster child of frustration Frustration and surrendering. God damn. No, he's going crazy. You retired, and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. Jesus Christ. We know you <laughs> We know you for doing this. You withdrew from rap, not because you accomplished all that you needed to... My bad. Not because you accomplished all you needed to do. It's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in these in the generations to think... That whole everybody's entitled to their opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate. And the fact I did and continue... <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. And the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you needed to be put into simpler terms, I, owe a, I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973. And flies first class on special occasions. What the fuck is 767 and 973, Sion? 
I have no idea. It's not like some plain shit. I don't know what the fuck he's talking it's about. It's like some expensive rich nigga plain type shit. I don't know. But it's very spicy to say. It's very spicy to say, hey, you retired. We didn't hang your jersey up. And quite frankly, we don't even know what number you wore. <laughs> that is crazy. Bro, bro, bro went in on bro. Hey, bro, bro went crazy. What, what was... Bro was mad. Bro, bro was heated. Bro, he did. I think he said something else too, uh, but I'm not gonna read that. I will. Let me tell you what I would have did if I was Drake, nigga. What? So, the sales just came out, 411k first week, nigga. I wouldn't say shit to Charlemagne. I wouldn't say nothing to Joe. I wouldn't have said nothing to that lady on the Breakfast Club. I would have made no comments. I would have just posted my sales, nigga, and just laugh. Not much to laugh about here, though. Huh? Not much to laugh about here, though. Nigga, I just went number one on the charts. I'm finna go... I'm competing with myself on the Billboard 100. Nigga, you on a podcast, you're doing 100K, 200K views uh, per episode, nigga. Hey, talking about me, talking about my album, nigga. All y'all niggas. Like, I'm the topic of the town, nigga, and I'm still him, nigga. Like, what, what am I to be sad about? Okay, you don't like my new album. Oh, well. I have yeah, other fans. I have other fans who do. Yeah, what would a nigga think? Like, er- not everybody's gonna like your shit. His comments were a little. His comments were. Uh, um, his comments were certainly a little spicy. Yeah, everybody's not gonna like your album, bro. Like, as long as you still got fans that still fuck with you, you got your diehard fans. You got new fans that fuck with you. Die line, die line, die line. Nigga, you good? Like you're winning. You're competing with yourself to be in the Billboard. His shit probably gonna take up most of the top thirty. The album probably gonna take up most of the top forty. Nigga, I would you're deal, winning. Like, I would deal with you said, but in a different way. I would have posted my my sales right here, the four hundred, because it's not his highest, but it's his sales for this album. And then I would have found Joe Budden's highest, <laughs> highest first week sales. I want to see whatever Joe Budden did the highest and compared the two. That's what I would have did. That's what I would have did. My 400 compared to your probably like 200 in the time where niggas was doing like millions. <laughs> and see what the fuck is up. Because back then, Lil Wayne was doing like a million first week. So I want to see what you, what you were doing in the CD era where it was easier Compared to what I'm doing right now in the streaming era, and let's see where the where the numbers compare. And I'm right. pretty sure Drake is still shitting on him. Or he could he could have pulled the little dirk. He could have went in the interview and dissed his niggas. Man, <laughs> it's a lot of ways he could have took it. But the the, tw- the the Instagram comment shit, like, come on, gang. I do like that though. I like I like somebody sticking up for themselves, especially people that I'm a fan of. I, I and in that get unnecessary hate. I like to see when people stick up for themselves. Um, but. It did feel a little salty. It did. It did. It did feel it a little did, salty. Man. I, I, I felt a little cringe, man. That's my favorite rapper, but... I feel like Nicki. I feel I, like Nicki was I, Yeah, that. I felt like, ugh, like, come on, bro, that's beneath you. But I, I agree with you. I, I agree. Like, that's a good thing. Like, stand up for yourself. Like, I understand that, but I, I was like, ugh. Because it kept going. Like, it just kept going, and... That wasn't the only comment he made, like... No, it was not the only (laughs) comment that he made. Let me find it. Man, Drake was not happy about these comments. Um, And then, of course, we got to talk about Baby not being happy either. So, Joe Budden reveals his DMs from Drake, and I'll read these two. Is is Joe Budden's real name Anthony? Who the fuck is Anthony? Um, I thought his name was Joe. Yeah, I thought so, too. Joseph, who the fuck is Anthony? (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, He's cooking this Drake song. says, take a chill pill, Anthony. Have a drink. Throw on some instrumentals. Maybe write one of those write one of those fellas. Do your thing. That's his middle name. But yeah. Okay. okay. Let me do my thing. Joints for old time's sake. A little radio play would do you some good, Papa. Because you bringing up my friends and the bitches I fuck like you know anything about that. Keep it music. I don't give a fuck what you listen to in your free time. But the people's opinion I care about, the people's appear the people's opinion I care about don't have free time. I also don't care if you like or dislike something, but talk about my life and shit like you trying to plant some seed or plant some narrative and turn people against me. Which people are already against you, Drake? I don't know about, you know, if he has to do too much turning. Anyways, Drake's continue to say, talk about the music. If you hate it, you hate it. But if you're talking about I'm out here fucking twenty five year olds. That shit just feels malicious. T- 
to me. And I don't do well with that. Your nerd co-host can sit there and talk about gangster this, gangster that. My bad, I accidentally clicked on the picture. Your nerd co-host can just sit around and talk about gangster this, gangster that. But you know how we get down. Keep it journalistic, jabronis. Jesus Christ. You, <laughs> your nerd co-host can sit around and talk about this and the, gangster this and gangster that. But you know how we really get down. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> y'all know how we really get down. Y'all can y'all can sit around and talk about that gangster <laughs> shit. But we really run down on niggas. You can go as uh, detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go as detail. <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking when he said that. I said, man, feds trying to trying to tap a man and wire a man like Chubb did detail. <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, Drake Joe is not playing. Out, boy. Drake is not playing, bro. <laughs> Joe better chill out. You know, it makes it funnier in hindsight that you said that he was on there saying, blame it on being 25. Yes. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you got to watch that shit. Bro. That shit had me crying, bro. Bro. That shit had me crying. Bro. So, I mean, safe to say Joe is not, um, well, Drake is not happy with Joe's opinions. Anything it seems kind of personal from Joe, too, though. It, it just all seems personal, bro. I'm not going to lie. Because, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It just seems personal. They've got a lot of history. They do have a lot of history, especially uh, going back to Drake's early years, like when Drake was a fan of Joe. Yeah, and if you watch Joe, I mean, I don't really pay attention to Joe's podcast a lot, but anytime he talks, he, he always has something to say about Drake, you know? Yeah, but it seems more so... Lighthearted, um, not recently, like as recent as you know, a week ago, but like recently, as much as like a year ago, it was like pretty lighthearted. Yeah, I think it's just different when, uh, you know, it's one thing for like academics to be speaking on Drake and we don't really know, bro, like that, but it's like when Joe is like, you know, they got a history, so I feel like Drake kind of we smoked hookah together, nigga. It, it, you know, didn't Joe say that about Drake in 2016 when he was remember. mad about the little pump it up shit, the pump, pump, pump it up. I'm not a one hit wonder. They know all my stuff. I remember Drake, but I mean not Drake. Joe went on like a tirade. We smoked hookah together, nigga. (laughs) Yeah, because I I also seen like an old interview clip of Drake where he was like, oh, I used to try to rap like Joe, but they got a history. It's some kind of relationship there. So I I felt like when he he was seeing that shit, he was like, he just took it personal. Like, nigga, you trying to speak on, even though it was in the lyrics, it's like, damn. Nigga, your lyrics, you wrote it and said it. (laughs) He's like, you try to speak on my personal life. I think he just, you know, he took it a certain way, you know? Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Birdman had some things to say to Mr. Joe Budden. Birdman. Birdman at Joe Budden. Calm down, brother. You're not built for this gangster shit. <laughs> Champagne poppy the goat. Cash money official. He also at uh, Charlemagne and said, I think you mean good. And I respect you, even though we had our differences. But I respect you, Charlemagne the God. But you need to respect Champagne Poppy, Cash Money official. Did you play the audio? Could you play the audio? Yeah, let me find it. Please play the audio. That shit was... Let me find it. Let me find it. Hey, but Birdman ain't playing, bro. Like, no, Birdman is not Birdman playing. Birdman don't really come out and say much. Any nigga playing with champagne, Poppy can suck my dick, nigga. I'm be hitting that hoe every time Drake or some MJ conversations come up. Like, a, any nigga playing with Drake can suck my dick, nigga. Fuck y'all. Hey, hey, it might start a, uh, start a war. You know, those words don't fly in New York. <laughs> uh, nah, that's hilarious, bro. That. He was calling him Champagne Poppy. He couldn't even just call him Drake. He was saying Champagne Poppy. Hey, that's his, that's his Instagram. It's, it, it is, but I don't feel like I'm going to call another man Poppy ever in life. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Is crazy. That is insane. And then Birdman and uh, Drewski got into their conflicts. Birdman at Drewski and said... He went crazy on Drewski. He went crazy on Drewski than fucking Charlemagne or Joe. He said, at Drewski, my little niggas want some of that. Stop playing with the goat champagne poppy. 
Rich gang or don't bang, you little bitch. <laughs> they add him again, and he at at Champagne Poppy. I'm glad it's this nigga gonna come up missing. O V O R G. <laughs> o V O Rich Gang. O V O Rich Gang. Okay. He said this nigga gonna come up missing. I'm glad it is. <laughs> I can't tell if they troll or not, bro. bro I I'm think, still scared for my nigga. I think Juicy. Drake is trolling, but but <laughs> Birdman is serious. Cause cause Drewski made this video about standing on business. <laughs> standing on business. And then Drake commented and said, Stun about to have you come up missing. I'm glad he's <laughs> Hey, man, stay in the house, Drewski. I'm glad it's... Stay in the house, man. Just stay in the house, do some skits. Birdman commented and said, bro, you still playing with a gangster? <laughs> hey, man. Did Juski drop this video? Juski. <laughs> Birdman been in the jail. Hey, he playing with that, man. He playing with him. Bro, Drewski come on missing. We know who did it. Some cash money hitters. We know who did it. <sighs> you think Drake uh didn't change the F to four on purpose? Uh, what for four of the dogs? Yeah, you think he didn't change the F to to the number four on purpose? Cause I've been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of. What do you guys think of Drake's fat D? This shit is crazy. That is, I'm like, bro, that, just that type is, it out, that's bro. That's the most hilarious acronym for an album. Bro, ever. just type it out. Like, I would have just typed it out. Like, why do they keep D. saying Fat D? Like, come on. And look, bro, <clears throat> Hip Hop by the Numbers, people that we both uh, recognize and read, they capitalize the F and the D, so they want you to say Fat D. Like, what's, what is going on? And, anyways, Anthony Fan, Fantano, whatever the fuck this nigga's name is, he rated it a five. Uh, for our dogs? Yes. Actually, I mean, bro, this is like, to me, bro, this is like the equivalent of wrestling fans with Dave Meltzer ratings. Like, who cares, bro? Who cares? I don't care what another nigga thinks of the album. Who bro, cares? Bro. But let me just let me just give you the rundown of the numbers he's given each album from highest to, le- to lowest. If you're reading this, it's too late, it's an eight. Her loss is a six. What a time to be alive is a six. Take care is a six. More life is a five. Fat D, whatever. For all the dogs is a five. Nothing was the same is a five. Uh, so far gone is a five. Scorpion is a four. Views is a four. CLB is a three. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is a three and care package is a three. I don't know. I want to take back what I said. I don't want to say who cares what another nigga think of the album. Because I do listen to people's album reviews. I listen to, like, academic stage. I do listen to people's album reviews, so I can't say that. But what another nigga thinks of an album, I don't give a fuck. Like, if that nigga think, like, and Anthony Fantana, I just seen a couple of his videos, bro. Like, he, he be giving a lot of good albums, like, low ratings. Like, he don't, his take, bro, he, he not black. Like, who cares? Like, he's not, like, who cares what he thinks? Like, I'm just saying, like, when it comes to, uh, like, Hold rap up. opinions on albums, I'm going off, when it comes to rap opinions on albums, I'm going off what I think. I don't care what Anthony Fantano thinks. I, I don't, if he thinks it's bad, cool for him. That's his opinion. He's entitled to his own opinion. I don't know why everybody has an outrage about what Like Drake think. said, I don't think everybody entitled to their opinion. <laughs> that everybody has an opinion and that's just fine. No, some opinions are really bad, like, like. You should be penalized for bad takes. Like, I believe in that. Like, there's got to be some type of penalty for bad takes. And there's got to be some type of reward for good takes. But, like, bro, take take care. What do you say, a six? Take care, a six. Brother, just don't review Drake anymore. Just, just take Drake out of the people that you review. Not even Drake. Take hip-hop. Because I'm pretty sure he gave one of those Tyler albums a nine. I remember seeing that. He gave one of those recent Tyler albums a nine, but fucking take care is a six. Anthony. Fuck your opinion, dog. Mr. Fantamo, bro, like, you have the worst, worst takes on hip-hop. Go review country music, bro. Go review what your, what your people's fair skin, you know? And I want to take that back. I don't want to say, I don't want to say he's not black. No, he's not black. Fuck him. I want to say he's not of the you culture. You don't have to be black. You don't have to be black to. You're not of the culture, so I don't Yes, really you're not of the culture. Yes, you're not of the culture. what your opinion is. It's like, it's like, on the album. it's like Morgan Wallen giving his hip-hop opinion. 
Exactly. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? Exactly. Man. Now, if Central C gives his hip hop opinion, I'd like to know. Right. But I don't care about Morgan Wallen. So yeah, you're. I get what you're saying about you want to take it back on the black thing. But yeah, because we like, get what I, you're I, saying. I, I'll take Eminem's opinion. Like I'll take, I won't. I'll take like. You know, <laughs> no, I would. I listen to him. You know, because he's he's of the culture, but it's yes. like, bro, Anthony Fontana, like you in the crib, like you ain't you ain't a part of the culture, bro. Bro, you you're not even rating the albums the right way. Like the best that the culture has to offer. Exactly. You're not even rating those the right way, bro. Exactly. Bro. Fuck out of here. What we got next, ganger. <clears throat> um, what is next? It's a lot to talk about. Oh, Drake seemingly claps back at Drake. A lot I mean, of Drake. Drake. A lot of Drake. Young boy seemingly cl- claps back at Drake. It is a lot of Drake. It's been Drake week. So, young boy says... So, young boy says, and stop sucking that boy dick. He know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut throat the fuck out. Record, record my dick, nigga, you a hoe. What that mean? I don't know. I don't know who that was for us. Honestly. They say it's for Drake. They say stop talking about that boy. Stop talking about that boy, Dick. He throat. I don't know. Stop sucking that boy, Dick. He know I'm gonna cut throat the fuck out. Record my dick, nigga. You a hoe. What does that mean? I, I have no clue. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I get the first I, I, part. I, I What's seen, the I part seen part that they said that was about Drake, but like I, I don't know. Like I don't. I don't know who that's for. I know he's been beefing with another rapper lately named Lil Rye. Uh huh. I don't know. If, I don't know if that was towards him, but like what that, whatever that's when I seen that, I don't. I didn't really even get it, honestly. Like <laughs> it was. I don't know. All right, one it more thing. Uh, it was what I couldn't comprehend that. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. And I, bro, can you rappers start speaking literate? Because when I'm reading you guys out loud and it sounds illiterate, I'm thinking it's me, and then I go back and reread it, and it's not me. Like what the fuck is? What is record my dick, nigga, you a hoe? What does that mean? I don't know. Like, I'm starting to think I'm doing something <laughs> wrong when I read this shit. I don't know. But he did later on say, try again, bitch ass nigga. I know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. Now, I know that uh, uh, that same day, Lil Rye, or uh, the, uh, the, the day before Youngboy posted that. Who the fuck is Lil Rye? This is rapper he's he's been beefing with uh he's been beefing with like 4K Trey over the last couple of weeks he's like signed to Gucci Mane mm-hmm. but that the day before Youngboy posted that Lil Rye had was on Instagram live he said fuck 4K Trey and then he said he so was, maybe it's Lil Rye I I'm just saying it could be I don't know I still don't know what the fuck he was meant by that shit but record my dick nigga. It, it could be it could be Lil Rye because they've been kind of going back and forth for the last couple of weeks it could say record my dick I do not know what that means bro. <laughs> But one last thing about Drake, and we can move on. We won't talk about him for the rest of the episode, guys. Dennis Graham has commented on the situation. He says, It's a fucking shame that a young artist can't do his own thing and enjoy his glory without an old motherfucker hating. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to bust his bubble. Because he has nothing going on. And to mention or put a limit on what age anyone should be dealing with, which is none of his goddamn business, as long as they're of legal age. I'm sick of these old... Fucking haters, fucking with my son. If you don't like what he does, keep it moving, motherfucker. He's not bothering you. Now, before I let you comment, because I don't have much to say about this, I only want to say that it, it's insane to consider a 37 year old a young artist, but a 43 year old an old ass motherfucker. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Young artist is crazy. Yeah, a young crazy. artist. Nigga's been out for 13 years. <laughs> Nigga's not only been out for 13 years, dominating the Bro game for 13 years. Bro was not even years. really young when he first came out. No, well, yes, he was. I mean, what you, 20s, I mean. Yeah, 20s. Niggas be coming out in their 18s. Yeah, 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 you're so, right. You know, you're right. As, a, as a rapper, he was already kind of already older rapper-wise. You're right, you're right, you're right. You know, yeah, relatively young artist, I guess, compared to himself, because, you know, his dad's probably like, what, 50, 60 or something like that, so. You know, from from his perspective, I I get it. But Joe Budden should be just as young then. <laughs> yeah, old motherfucker. Old crazy. motherfuckers. Maybe he thought bro was fifty or something. That's insane. Maybe he thought bro was fifty, y'all though. That's <laughs> insane. And Joe's pretty young though. He's only forty two. Yeah, I think he's forty two. Pretty or 43. young. He's pretty young. I thought I, I would think he's older. Okay. Uh, but hey, I, I fuck with it, bro. You gotta speak up for your son. I would do the same thing if my son was a rapper and, and niggas was speaking on his name, talking shit. I would do the same thing. Salute, bro. That's that's, that's some real dad shit, bro. I fuck with it. 
you have some real dad shit, but I wouldn't have called the dude that's like, you know, like five years older than my son, old ass motherfucker. Yeah, my, my shit would have been like, hey, all y'all hating ass niggas, get off my son dick. <laughs> yeah, something like that. He shitting on y'all, he finna sell 400k, y'all niggas bums. And I was yes. like, that, that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what we got next? All right, so ATL Jacob says, Kanye West has done more for hip hop than Tupac. Dot, 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 facts. Uh, Kanye West has done more for hip hop than Tupac. Yeah, what do you think? Um, I agree. Um, but that's not really fair. I don't think that's fair. I don't because think it's Tupac's fair either. life got cut short, and we don't know what he could have done. I don't think it's fair either. But there was a lot of rappers that came out wanting to be Tupac. Like Ja Rule was like Tupac and DMX mixed together. He he said did more for hip hop. What, what was his exact quote? He what? said. Kanye West has done more for hip-hop than Tupac. Got the dot facts. Yeah, I think so. Why? That's a good debate, though. It's a good debate. Why? Um, But I feel like Kanye West, like, not only what did he, like, I feel like he changed the sound of rap. Yeah, 808s. Um, he also, multiple times, though. I don't even mean 808s. During that time, we had 50 Cent. We had, like, that gangster rap kind of taking over. You know, Backpack rap. You know, he he's changed the shit with the backpack rap, more introspective kind of music. Then, once again, what you're saying with, with the 808s and Heartbreaks, Crooning on top of that, bro, before he was even spitting, he was uh, making classic beats for Jay-Z, Memphis making class, classic beats for the whole Rockefeller, yep. making beats Cameron. for uh, other artists, like uh, other Little hit Wayne. songs that we've heard, Beyonce songs. like. But, Wayne. I mean, I know we're talking about hip-hop, but... A lot of classic hip hop songs. He's uh, put a lot of artists on, on, gave a lot of artists looks, yes. and um, I still think it's a good debate because Tupac, you know, he he did a lot for hip hop. Like you say, he had a lot of people trying to be him, but I just think Kanye did more. But it, it is, I don't think it's fair to say because you know Tupac had a short time. I with, think Kanye is the most one of the most influential artists ever. And I gotta specify because when I don't know what people think when they hear influential, we had a guest in and they thought influential meant making people act like them. I think influential is if you take you out of hip hop, how much has the game changed? How much did you influence the game? How much did you change the game? Kanye changed it a lot. Exactly. If you take if you take Tupac out, well, okay, we don't have the outlaws. We don't have Jay. We don't, we don't have, have. We don't have that uh, Ja Rule Ashanti run. Either. We don't have. Ja Rule. <laughs> we don't have, maybe not Ja Rule, maybe, but we don't have the Outlaws. We don't have. We don't have Vince who else? Staples. Who else? Yeah, like. <laughs> nigga, we take Kanye out, we might not have Drake, we might no, not we have might Big not have Sean. Nobody. John Legend. We might not have nobody. Uh, well, hip hop wise. Uh, we might not have, we might not have uh, Travis Scott. We might not have. Um, we might not have nobody. We might have not have a lot of niggas, bro. We might not have nobody. Who's to say? Because if Drake wasn't here, a lot of other niggas wouldn't be around. That's, so, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, a trickle bro, down effect. I think I, I, think, that, I think whoever said that was wrong, bro. But it's just not fair to say because if Tupac was still alive, we don't know what he could have did. He could have brought some more artists on. That bro could have still been on today, or or you know they could have branched off and found new the next big West Coast artist. You know we just never know what could happen. So you know, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't know how long Tupac's longevity could last. Like, longevity just wasn't as long as it is now uh, in the For past. For sure, that is true. So, I, I don't know. That is true. There's no telling, bro, because, I mean, shit, even, you, like you said, we that's facts. We wouldn't know if he would have fell off or not, but, shit, that bro was hot during that time. Like, he was pretty hot at the time of his death, so it's like, we, he could have had three, four, five more years, you know? Which one of them do you think is the mo more iconic? I think they're both two of the most iconic rappers of all time. Like, if you ask me top iconic rappers, they would instantly be in the top three. Pac and Kanye. Who do you think is more iconic between the two? Iconic. Yeah, like, I think... When Tupac. People, Tupac, for sure. And the only reason why I would I would lean Tupac is because if you close your eyes and you just say hip-hop, the first person to come to mind is probably going to be Tupac, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. He just had a bigger... He had a bigger, like, impact. I feel like on on the world, not just hip hop, but just on it, it just it was bigger than hip hop when it came to Tupac, you know. And I think Kanye, I mean, it's kind of bigger than hip hop, but I don't know. Tupac was like really trying to make a change. Like he really gave a fuck. Like even when he got on, he still gave a fuck about the people at the bottom. He didn't turn his back on the bottom, you know. Kanye, he a billionaire, you know. He 
He's selling his expensive clothes. And Every time expensive... Kanye got to a new level, he turned his back on people that were on the uh, the, uh, the under level. Yeah, like the level he, under him. Yeah, like he's supporting <clears throat> Trump. Like he, you know, he he doing his his billionaire shit. Whereas like Pac, he never turned his back on the people. Like, you know, he was always for the people, and he was always he just he just came with a different message. He was a movie star. He you know he was just bigger than rap. So it's two ways we can go after this topic. We can either continue to talk about Kanye, or we can continue to talk about Pac. Which one do you want to do? Mm, let's go, Park. All right, so <clears throat> KPD was arrested. <clears throat> so, my boy Jordan's favorite guy, KPD, was arrested uh, again, and he confessed to killing Tupac on multiple different various shows. And they're saying he's confessed to Diddy paying him $1 million to get Pac out of here. What do you think about that? Oh, and before you, we get into what you think, 50 Cent had a comment, and he said, damn, so Pac got lined up by Brother Love? LOL, time to lawyer up. Shit might get sticky. I only have one take on this, my brother. What's the take? I said this on Twitter. 50 Cent always is trying Diddy. He always got something to say about Diddy. I don't recall Diddy ever saying anything back. Like Diddy don't want no smoke. This is crazy. Diddy don't want no smoke. Cause every time Diddy's like, nah, that's my brother or whatever. <laughs> like, like, Diddy like bro, D- Fifty Cent always got some wild shit, like crazy shit to say about Diddy. Like, yeah, remember with the gay stuff? Yeah, yeah, like it's always something along those lines. But and every time Diddy's asked about it, he's like, Fifty's my brother. I mean, we touched it on it a little bit on, on the last episode, but uh, I really don't know if Diddy has anything to do with this. I know KPD has been saying that shit, which is crazy. I don't think honestly. I don't think Diddy ever gets caught up in this shit. I think I think Keefe D's is just gonna go down. I don't, I don't think Diddy. I don't think there's no way they have of tying Diddy to this shit. Like there's no evidence. I think it's possible. Other than him just saying this shit. I think it's possible. I think it's possible that Diddy had something to do with it because I mean it's been like a running conspiracy all of our lives. I mean However, they were they were obviously beefing at the time, and a lot of people say that Tupac was kind of knowing he was gonna die, or he had he was kind of saying his music he. Thought he was gonna die. That's the know. weirdest part about it. But. Yeah, so I mean, I wasn't, um, I wasn't even alive around that time. People are weird though. Like, yeah, I can come on my podcast and I can say, yeah, I'm gonna die. That's a fucking truth. That's one thing that's promised to everybody. That don't mean I'm gonna die in two weeks. Yeah, but if you heard a lot of years. his songs, like before that, he, he was, was talking about faking his death too. He, yeah, he I had mean, a lot he of was, shit. He was, it was a lot of, it was a lot of. He had like a music video where he died in it. Yeah, like, it was, it was like Mary. multiple movies where he died in that he did. Like, Hail Mary, he's a ghost. Yeah, it was, it was a little eerie, bro. It and is a little eerie. It was, it was. It beef, the eerie. beef was crazy at the time. He already had got shot like the year before that. Before, in the head he, and survived. And that he thought that had to do with Bad Boy, so he definitely did. It was they def- set him up. Yeah, and then you know the the shit with Orlando Anderson. There's a lot of shit going on at the time, bro. So yes. it's not out of fetch for people to say that Diddy might have had something to do, but. I, I just don't think at, at this point it's been twenty years. I don't. I, don't, I think KPD, my boy, you're going down. It's no proof on Diddy, my boy. It's I proof think, on you. You went on interviews. You capped. You talked all about it. Every time Diddy on the interview, he don't want to talk about it. And I think that's where KPD even fucked up, my boy. I think I think Diddy possibly could have had something to do with it. I don't fucking know. He could have, but I know for a fact he ain't gonna go down for it. <laughs> I know for a fact that he gonna lawyer up like like Fifty said, yeah, and bro. he gonna have them Jewish lawyers and he gonna get away with it. So I still think it's fucked up though, cause KVD already confessed all this shit. Like this is crazy. Like how y'all niggas gonna come back after? I I don't I don't give a fuck what happens. I, I'm not saying free KVD, cause nigga I'm a Pac fan, but for the law I'm like bro, this nigga already ratted and did every, like why is y'all coming back now? Like what happened? Like, I thought he what happened? Ha ha ha! What happened? He told y'all everything. Like y'all knew this twenty years ago. Why not arrest him for this shit twenty or wherever he told him? You probably didn't think they had enough evidence themselves. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. So, what else do we have? I think we're running through shit right now. Oh, Mace, Mace, and uh, Cameron commented on this.
started doing the dance. Niggas started doing the dance. I'm doing the shoulder dance. Yeah, and they're saying that uh, Mace commented on the situation and said it is what it is. Whatever that means. Um, well, we know Mace and, and Diddy aren't the best of friends, are they? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's not really a shocker. It's not really a shocker. I do want to ask you, bro. I know this is kind of off topic. Oh, we're done with topics. Go ahead. What do you think about this Will Smith Jada shit, bro? Have you seen what's been coming out lately about all They've this been shit? separated for since twenty sixteen. Yeah, sure. and like I don't know, like to me after hearing this shit, it just makes the slap even more hilarious to Chris Rock. No, it does because he slapped he slapped this nigga over his best for friend. for nothing, like over his roommate, over his roommate, <laughs> over his homegirl, over, over his bestie, doing? over his bestie. And then it, it just makes it even more crazy because he's talking I about my wife. I will slap over my bestie, though. I ain't gonna lie. But, like, it's even... He said, he's like, you don't he talk about my wife. My wife. Yeah. Like, nigga. Well, Y'all not even together. In public, that was his wife, though. So, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It just makes in, it even more public. crazy. And then the fact that she's coming out just trying to make bro look, like, even more... Bro, do they got beef? Because she's... Ne- every time she comes out and speaks and has something to do with Will... It's a never anything that's like endearing of Will or yeah. like makes Will look good or pop cool or popular or some type of Not at all. like a man. Not <laughs> at all. Like, it's always, Do they got beef? They obviously get something. It's something. Bro. KBD gets arrested. She tweets, now we can finally sleep at night. <laughs> Bitch, it's been 30 years. <laughs> what are you talking hey, about? You know she love Pac, man. It's okay to love Pac and that was your best friend at one point. I know you still have a lot of love for him in your heart. But it's been 30 years. What do you mean we can finally sleep at night? You tell me, your kid's not even 30 years old. So you telling me you weren't even able to, since your kid's been born, you can't even be able to sleep at night? Like, what's going on? We can finally sleep at night. What are you talking about? Hey, man. What I, I think is, it. I think this is a, a classic case of a Jezebel or an Eve. We got one. We finally got one in our generation. We finally got a Jezebel and an Eve to point at and be like, that's an evil bitch. It's her. Yeah, man. I, I, I She's just, evil. I just felt so bad for Will, man. I felt bad. Like, How many times do you feel bad for Will after Jada Pinkett has said something? Is this like the fourth time? <laughs> it's like the 20th time. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, damn, brother. I hate to see a, a, a fellow brother go out The funniest part is, I used to think Will Smith was one of like, the most player niggas on earth. I can't doing? say the same, but... I thought he was super player, like... I like, thought he was cool, people. You know, Fresh Prince, that's one of my favorite cartoons. I, I mean, my favorite... Cartoons, uh, sitcoms. Sitcoms, like... Yeah. It's like, damn, you didn't make... I, I used to think bro was, like, the coolest young nigga ever, like, yes. growing up, like... Yes. Even know? still, like, in his in his film career, I thought he was one of the coolest actors there were. Yeah, like, we looked yeah. at him, like, up there with, like, Denzel and shit. Yeah. Man. And I feel like now... He's we don't even, his yeah, we don't even think about the movies. Like, of course, no. of course, we, you know, we know about him, but it's like yes. all we think about is just her embarrassment, embarrassment. August Alcina, August Alcina, Chris Rock, Chris Rock, and Jada Pinkett. Shame, Jada Pinkett, Tupac, and that's about it. A bunch of alleged and his uh, fucking kids having trash swinging. music. Yeah, and, and swinger shit. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie. It's almost nothing about the music or the movies. Anymore. Nothing successful, bro. So I'm just going to keep my fond memories of Fresh Prince, you know, continue to watch my reruns on Hulu. And I'm just going to tune this out. Fresh you know? Prince on Hulu? I think, yes, yeah, yeah, it's on Hulu. Is Martin too? Mm, I don't think so. I might be on Tubi. Martin might be on Tubi, though. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be looking for Martin and Fresh Prince sitcoms, and I want to know where Living Color is. So if anybody out there is watching the Living Color right now, let you me know. know. Them shits might be on BT, but I know uh, for sure uh, Fresh Prince on Hulu. For sure. Anything else you want to talk about? We got through all the topics. Um, not really, man. I mean, we kind of... What do you well, think about Offset album? Oh, yeah, um... I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really too moved by it. I mean, I, I added like half of it. The songs that I did add, I thought they were pretty hard. Um, Same. A lot of old shit, you know. A lot, yeah. of sh- a lot of shit that he previewed like over a year ago. Yeah, th- you could tell this is the album that he was supposed to drop last November. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I guess I just want to have more time with it. 
I wasn't really too moved by it though. What, what, what you think? I think at the beginning I was really sad and I was like, no way this is the guy that I've been bragging about who's got MC. And then towards the end I was like, no, this is the guy. This is him. Um, I like I liked the majority of the songs towards the back half than the front half. Yeah. I have friends who said they, they did not like the back half and I'm like, you guys need to get your, get your ears checked or whatever the fuck is going on over there. But yeah, I think he did pretty well. I honestly didn't start adding any songs until it got to track eight, so I I, I like the back half more. But yeah, yeah, I like the back half more. Um, but uh, Jesus Christ, eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> yeah, eight. I um I don't know, bro. What like, is eight? Big dog? What is eight? You, did you add big dog? Yeah, I did add that one. I think that is eight. Let me let me go look. Yeah, I I added the Travis Scott song, and then the next song was eight. Like the next song was. Don't you lie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but don't you lie. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I just think Offset. I like twenty fifteen to twenty twenty Offset more. Like, um, I liked twenty seventeen to two thousand twenty one Offset more. To, yeah, twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah, seventeen and twenty one. I just I don't know. Like the shit now is just. Bro, stop doing this little, like, I got a, I got a piece to the whole section of hip-hop. Offset, stop doing that, bro. Just get on the song and spass. Rap like you would if Takeoff was still alive. Yeah, you know what I think it is, too? I was listening to some of the album today. It's the singing shit, bro. Like Yeah, the singing and trying to harmonize. Trying to be and like Quavo and Travis shit. Like, bro, yeah. we're past that, bro. You like, know what? There's one song where I really was like, did Quavo write this? I don't know which one it was, but it was early on in the album. Was it on my own? I really don't remember which one it was, but I know it was on first listen towards the beginning of the album. Had to be within the first within the first eight. Yeah, and I I was listening and I was like, did did Quavo write this? Like this sounds like it's written by Quavo. Like it's like something Quavo would actually say. Yeah, top to I, bottom. I just want him to get past that shit and just get onto the rapping, bro. Like, bro, because if it was more songs like Big Dog, just more songs like where it's just no auto tune and he's just spazzing, it would do him a lot better. It's starting to make me question who really was the best Migo. Come on, don't do that. No, it is, bro. Because cause if you need Takeoff around just so you can rap hard, maybe it was Takeoff. He's inspiring everybody else to be better. I mean, I won't doubt that. I think he was. I mean, Quavo and Offset say it himself. He was the one who made the flow. So I'm not going to doubt that Takeoff was probably definitely a key part in like their creative um, process. Um, but I, I, I'm my favorite Migos Offset, nigga. So yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I won't disagree. Like you know, Takeoff was you know probably I think a, Offset's the best Migo. I, I think Takeoff was it was definitely probably like as far as rapping wise, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like the leader in the studio. Like you know, as far as like when it comes to inspiring Quavo and Offset, I, I won't disagree with and that. In that at case, all. in that case, he can he might have claim to the best. I mean, if we saying that, then that mean Yachty better than Drake. No, no, no. What, Yachty, like, if if Yachty was rapping better than Drake. Or rapping equal close to Drake and doing that, then yeah, you could say that. Because Takeoff was close to Offset. It's not like Offset was just blowing him out the water. He was close. He was close. Offset, yeah, got the he, win. I'm not gonna disagree. I'm he was gonna... close, but it, it just seems like yeah, it I seems like Takeoff was the MVP. It really does. And I don't want to say that. You know all my takes that I've been saying about Offset. You know I've been calling Offset God MC. I got you calling him God MC. You know, you know how I feel about Offset. But it's not fair though. It just take feels like he can't make it. To... Take off and Quavo's album was not not that good. It wasn't that good, but like I think, come on, bro. It just seems like he needs one of. The... They all need each other. Is what it seems like. They do. I was saying that. I was saying that long ago. You were. You were. Twos. You were saying that soon. They, as they broke belong up. together. Like if we if we was getting like a culture four right now, or I think that was the last one. But if they would have came with culture just something was else, last one, but so four would be the next. You're right. Yeah, like reach niggas part six. If, if they were still going right now, bro, they they would still be. Doing their thing, like it's weird bro. that they act like they can't make make more music like Migos music. Like, sure, Takeoff doesn't is not here, but I'm pretty sure you guys have thousands of songs that you never dropped. Eh, thousands but, of Takeoff you know, verses. Offset and Quavo. Through. If you, I mean, if you heard Offset album, um, it's a lot of it's a lot of I'm on my own. I don't need niggas. It's a lot of bars like that. So yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that. I don't need niggas, and then links up with all Quavo's best friends. <laughs> Sounds like you might need Quavo, brother. Well, you know, Quavo dropped his solo album too, and it, you know, it wasn't really that crazy to me either. It wasn't. This one's better than Quavo's. 
Um, but, both um, Offset albums are better than both Quavo albums, but I bro. don't know. I I just I just feel like as a as an Offset fan, I don't. I'm kind of I'm not heated or anything, but I'm just disappointed that I waited all these years for this. Like yes, I'm not, I, I'm not really. I this is not gonna last in my rotation. I'm just being honest, and I'm I'm still an Offset fan. You know, I folks with bro got him see, but. I, this just wasn't a, know, half brother. of it just wasn't it for me don't know brother I might have to demote him might, might have to go down to King MC <laughs> might have to demote King him MC. <laughs> King MC I don't know man yeah I mean Prince MC that's going too far you know when it comes to artists you never know what the fuck is really going on but uh I don't know I just it wasn't for me first half certainly wasn't I don't know I, you, go ahead go ahead no you go ahead I was going to say, what did you think of, uh, did you hear V's Deluxe? So I added two songs out of five. Um, the two songs I liked, I liked. Um, but I'm not going to shit on them for two out of five because, I mean, I added like seven out of 21. The original album, so. I was expecting more music, but. Man! Yeah! Yeah, I certainly was too. The, the fact that he was talking about, um, what did he say? He was talking about he was dropping the deluxe back in ju- June, mm-hmm. and we don't get it now until like mid October. Mm-hmm. I was expecting a little bit more too. Yeah, five songs kind of was I don't know, that kind of didn't that kind of blew me. Um, you know the songs were cool. Um, I added I, I I don't even think it was five songs. I think it might have been four. It might have been four. I don't know. I added them though. Um, I mean they were cool. It was five songs. It was five songs. Yeah, and I added two. I might have just added four, but. I mean, they were cool. I, 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 you know, I fuck with Beast. He's made it into my top five. I, top I five what? I, in my top five current rappers. Interesting. I don't. Looking at his track record, I don't think we're getting another album for at least two years. So, Jesus Christ. I think five, five album, five Dude, songs. Dude, you're, you're fucking twenty nine. No way you're gonna wait two years, bro. I mean, before this, his last album was in twenty twenty. Yeah, so. but nobody was like paying attention to him. But. Yeah. Kind of blew up twenty twenty one. I mean, not blew up, but he he was blowing. He he came up with the baby face rays, and you know they all kind of blew up like twenty twenty one. He was kind of around that scene. I had been waiting for his album since for two years. So, bro, <laughs> you should not wait two years. These, if you're watching, brother, do you not wait two years. Dude, you have a little baby. Like you fuck with a little baby. Get a little baby feature. Come come again next. Come again next year. Yeah, get that baby feature, bro. Pretty sure baby will be interested in working with you. Nigga has everybody on his videos. Like, come, come with more features next time. Put out a, a, a put out something. Put out something. Like, I think he At has a lot EP, of potential. Bro. At least the EP, brother. Yeah, you got a lot of potential, and you started so late. So you gotta you gotta do your thing. You started at the same time Young Dolph started. So you gotta do your thing. I actually, started the year after Young Dolph. Like and it's Young like, Dolph was twenty eight when he got famous. And it's like, nigga, we know you making the music. Like, it's like Playboy Cardi. Like, you niggas making all this music just to not drop it. Like, and then when you yeah. get mad when niggas leak your shit, like, yeah. I don't get it. I'm an artist, nigga. If I'm making so much music and I feel like some of it's good, like, I'm going to drop that shit. themselves, though. That shit's stupid. Drop <laughs> that shit. Yeah, just get the money for it, officially. It, yeah. But like, I think they're, like, testing the waters when they leak it. Like, they're trying to see what you guys think. Yeah, but all this nigga's music gets leaked. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends on who you are. Cause some niggas, they get their music leaked a lot, and other niggas don't really, you know, it's kind of rare. So it just depends. Yep. Well, this seems like a comfortable place to stop. Um, I'm Count Christian. See ya. And this is episode 45. Thank you guys for watching. Peace!